as I'm sure you'll know by now. The way in which noise is generated by a string is by vibration. The second part of the modeling section deals specifically with this. There are a variety of different factors that can define how a string vibrates, and you will find a good number of these factors have controls within this section of Sakura. As you may recall from an earlier video, Sakura can operate in both single and dual string modes. The controls for your string can be found here in the upper section of this part of the interface. For the second string, you can access the equivalent controls in the lower section. There are also a number of other controls that can be used to affect both strings. Let's take a look at all of them now. In the top left hand corner, you will find the decay control, and this determines how long the string will ring after being played. Lower values will produce a more percussive note. For example, the sort of sound you may attribute to a slap or pop bass guitar would fall under this category. However, if you wanted to produce a pad style bass guitar sound, then you could increase this setting, and this will allow the note to ring out for a much longer time. It is quite easy to hear the effect that this has on the notes being played through Sakura. Another phenomenon that occurs when you play a stringed instrument is that of the constructive and destructive interference. What this means is that the string vibrates, however, vibrations also travel along the length of the strings and bounce back off the string's anchor points. As this new wave travels along the string, it has an effect of changing the characteristic of the sound. This is just another factor that makes a particular string sound different from another. While in certain circumstances, a similar string will produce a similar result there will be a subtle difference in the sound. Take an acoustic guitar for an example. If you always use the same make of string, the sound of one set will be very close to the sound of another. If, however, you try to compare the sound of a nylon string to a steel string, then you cannot fail to notice that these are obviously different. If you look at the graphical representation of the strings on this part of the interface, you will notice that there is a positive-negative switch. This controls the phase of those balanced waves. This effectively reverses when there is constructive and destructive interference. This will almost always result in a major difference in the sound produced. Each of the controls relate to what happens when a wave bounces off the appropriate node. 